Hi again, so we have reached the exercise on perfect numbers, so we need to write a program which reads a positive integer value n, and the program should indicate if n is a perfect number or not. So n is called perfect number if n is equal to the sum of its divisors without the number itself. So, the user should enter uh, an n, a value n, and uh, we should calculate uh, the sum of the divisors and if it's equal to n, then it's a perfect number. So let's enter n. Let's ask the user to enter n. And uh, let's say uh, percentage uh, d others of n. So let's check if it should be positive. So it's positive integer. So let's uh, place it into a do while. So as long as the user enter a value of n and n is less. Uh, or equal to zero so it he needs to repeat the entry so i need also a variable called sum since i need to do the summation and of course sum should start from zero so i need to loop over the divisor so i need a loop so i need a counter and i need so i know well that the divisors of a number n they are from uh, one to n and uh, so we need to exclude the divisor n so i can start from for i equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus this is one solution and we'll check later when we do the modification of this program so if uh, n modulo i so if i divides n equal equal to zero i will add to sum the value of i and at the end after finishing the for loop i will check so if sum is equal equal to n i would say that n is perfect is a perfect number so percentage g is a perfect number backslash n and otherwise is not a perfect number so uh, we don't have an example here so let's run so let's say for example uh, 9 9 is not a perfect number since the divisor are 1, 3, and uh, 1 and 3 just, so it's equal to 4. Let's say 12. Also, it's not a perfect number. 16, I'm just trying. It's not a perfect number. So, uh, how can we know uh, uh, the, what, the, what are the perfect numbers? So, we need, I will try to, to, to modify just the question. So, we will not read an n, so I'll, I will print the perfect number from 1 to 100. So if I want to modify that, so the user will not enter n, and I will need to do a loop because I need also to check the, uh, the perfect number. So let's say that I have here uh, j, so j will loop from for j equal 1, j less than or equal to 100, J plus plus. So I'm looping from the numbers from 1 to 100 and for each element I, I will calculate the uh, if, it's, if it's perfect number or not. So all this so I will issue nice. So sum it should be here. If you put it outside it means that you have just one sum for all the numbers. So I'll start from i equal to 1 to j. So if j modulo i is equal equal to 0 I will sum i and at the end if sum is equal equal to j I would print that j is a perfect number otherwise j is not a perfect number so i will remove that the else because i don't want to uh, see uh, the message that a number is not perfect i just need the perfect numbers from 1 to 100 so we have just 6 and 28 so 6 because it's equal to the divisors are equal 1 2 and 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal uh, to 6 and as for 28 the divisor of 28 are 1 uh, 2, 4, 7, and uh, 14, so their sum is equal uh, to 28. So this was the solution of uh, the, 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 pro the program. So, and again, I just uh, note something that uh, if you can see that if you have a number, for example, 28, its maximum divisor is not a 27, its maximum the divisor is equal to n over 2, so 28 is maximum equal n over 2. So, for example, here, if you want to uh, just don't loop for, for, like, for nothing, so you can place j over 2, and you should place an equal since we can reach the half of this number. So, let's rerun it again to check that it works. So it works, so you uh, just take 
to 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 minimize the number of uh, unuseful iterations because we are looping for nothing. So this was for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will try to answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.